what's the deal with organic structures, are they easily done in Blender, and how we can approach this field as beginners. Hello guys and welcome back, this is Architecture Topics and if you're new here, we do videos around architecture representation and visualization. In this video we will tackle three level on simple organic shapes, all of them are easy and a really fun process to learn, so let us start with it. First level we have today is this circular covering, made of three simple objects. So let me open a new scene, then from the add menu, go to mesh and select circle. We can from this corner menu change the vertices number to get many different shapes from triangles to hexagons and more. I will make it on 8 vertices for this one, to fill this shape we can just hit F while everything is selected, or by setting the circle to fill type from the previous menu, after that, to add a center point with more cuts on the shape, right mouse click and hit poke faces, this way we control the mid area by moving it up and down, and that can help us in controlling the shape. We can also select half the surrounding points using the check OD select option and just move them up to any height that fits, we are just playing here and the dimension are nowhere near the real thing, so just get familiar with the work process. Now to add the organic look on this shape, in other words smoothness and curves, we need the subdivision surface modifier, so add it to the mesh, the level count is up to you and your machine, might be 3 or 4, you increase it until it's relatively smooth to what you have in mind. Now that we have the subdivision enabled, we can select the vertices in edit mode and move them or scale them on any axis whether it's x y or z, and that will give you a feeling of control over the structure. We can even bevel any of those points to change the curve in that area, or even work on faces and edges, with insert and extrusions and that would result in some interesting shapes. We can now add the solidify modifier to give the shape some thickness, and maybe increase the subdivisions for a smoother result. To finish this, I will add a cylinder beside this simple floor plane. The cylinder we added, I will cut it first to match the covering, and we do this with boolean. Now if I select the covering shape as a cut object, the boolean will be messed up, and that's because we still have modifiers and it's not applied on the mesh, so what I usually do is make a copy of the cut shape, the covering in this case, first apply all modifiers on it by simply convert it to mesh, then we can cut it right. After that just apply the boolean on the cylinder, and delete the top part from it. This surrounding shape we made is good, but two of it is even better, so make a copy with shift D, first one will work as a building face, a glass wall maybe, the second copy is the charm, I named it wire, so let me add to it the wireframe modifier, this way we shape it into profiles around the wall part, apply scale on it if you see any problem in the mesh after the wireframe, in fact you should always apply scale on any mesh once you scale it or edit mode it in any way. We can also add on it a bevel modifier to smooth the cuts, this process can be a bit unclean after the boolean, but it is manageable, just make sure there are no overlapped vertices and delete the ones near any obvious error. Before we finish this one, we might also drop a bevel modifier on the main covering, and you might say I like my edges sharp, no, wrong, beveling edges will affect the way the light cast on those corners, that's why in archvis we always bevel. That was the first example, easy right, just couple of meshes and playing around with vertices, so let us play more, and up the game a little bit, this time we take the second level, this shape and let us approach it in a different way. Starting this example with a simple plane, press N and change the dimensions to 14 by 6, or anything you have in mind. We will also add three cuts on it, but different than the last one, we won't be controlling the point directly on the mesh, rather than using deformation with lattice. So hit Shift A to add a lattice object, 
and scale it around to cover the plane from all sides. Along with this we will add to the plane a lattice modifier and connect the two lattices we have, now to match the plane cuts on the lattice, we can add some to it from the resolution area. Now the process will be something similar to before and with more control, so in edit mode, select some points from the lattice and move them to create the shape, at this time we should add a subdivision to the surface and make it on simple. The level count can be 3 or 4 as a start, then make sure to place the subdivision over the lattice modifier. And now we start getting something, increase the point's height to fit the shape, then select the opposite two points and do the same but with a different height. It's after that just managing the point's position to get the shape in mind. Once you are done playing with the points, add some thickness to the shape with the solidify modifier, and again if you encounter any errors, always apply scale. You can have more control over the middle and sides by increasing the lattice resolution to maybe 9, and that can restrict the effect on the main curves, but we will keep it simple here and focus on the process. There will be also metal profiles under the main shape. And to get those, I will duplicate the curvy mesh, then delete the solidify. After that let us apply the remaining modifiers and top that with a wireframe. We can with the offset value control the wires place from the main shape, and the rest is the same. Check boundaries for open edges and control the thickness until it seems fit. Adding a bevel on those profiles will make it look even better. So do that, and just keep it on the default settings. To cover the front and back sides, we will use boolean as last time, so make a copy again and apply the modifiers on it, then use any mesh, a cube or a plane, and cut it along the top shape. I will add some cuts on the cube before we boolean it. Cause after the boolean it won't take the normal loop cut way. Again with this face, let us make a copy to use the wireframe modifier on it and place it over the original one to look as metal over glass. With the bevel over the wireframe and the boolean, we need to uncheck the clamp overlap, then fix the bevel amount until it fits. And that's it for the level 2 structure, pretty similar process with couple more options maybe, still easy, so now what about level 3, the remaining mesh on the top, can you make it by now, let me just show you what I did with the third structure, it's the same process with the same simple approach, with this one I started with a plane, so let me turn off the modifiers to see it. Here it is. First two modifiers are the subdivision and lattice, and this made the first dome or curve, the main shape, after that I used mirror to cover the next area. The array will extend this structure as much as we need on this direction, and overall that we have a solidify for the thickness, and a bevel to smooth the corners, that's it. The opposite side can be made with a second mirror modifier or with an instance copy as in my case here. The lattice I used went all around the place like shown, and at any time we can edit it to affect the entire covering by just moving one point, as in this one we selected, 
we can just move it down and we kinda have a tent shape now, so that's it, me myself really enjoy playing with organic structures like those, and if you want more, watch this video or visit the channel for more topics, see guys next time, stay sharp, goodbye.